Russian forces have been attacking major Ukrainian cities for the third week in a row. According to the UN, 549 civilians have been killed, though the actual death toll could be much higher. Over 2 million people have fled the conflict as the Russian attack continues. The US and NATO allies have repeatedly denied any direct involvement in the conflict. Asperger's bare direct participation could turn this into World War III, but Russia appears to be preparing for an escalation and the latest Moscow has said its troops could target supplies of Western weapons in Ukraine. I'm quoting the Russian deputy foreign minister, Sergei Ravkov, we warned the United States that the coordinated pumping of weapons from a number of countries is not only a dangerous move, but it is also a move destined to fail, quote unquote he said Moscow had warned about the consequences of the thoughtless transfer to Ukraine of weapons like man-portable air defense systems, anti-tank missile systems and so on, not just that. He said Washington had not taken Moscow's warning seriously, adding that Russia and America were not holding any negotiation process on Ukraine. So Russia is calling the West's supply of weapons to Ukraine a dangerous move. Moscow sees this as a quote. Quote what is the extent of the military support that we are talking about? Analysts say there is evidence that recently supplied weapons by the West are already being used. Among the ones supplied by the West are shoulder-launched air defense missiles, also known as MANPADs, including the infamous US-made Stinger surface-to-air missiles that it used against Soviet aircraft during its occupation of Afghanistan in the 1980s, as well as 2000 light anti-tank missiles, or ANLAWS, which were already being used to destroy Russian armored columns, according to reports. How many weapons has the West used against Ukraine? Exact figures are difficult to come by, but at least 20 countries, including the United States, have supplied arms. The United Kingdom, European Union countries, and even Sweden and Finland, both of which have a long history of neutrality and are not members of NATO, NATO members have sent at least 17,000 anti-tank missiles and another 2,000 Stinger anti-aircraft missiles. Germany and the Netherlands sent 1,000 anti-tank and Stinger air defenses. Canada also sent 1,000 anti-tank and Stinger air defenses. It sent over 4,000 rocket launchers and over 7,500 hand grenades. Recent weapons deliveries include tens of thousands of assault rifles and machine guns, anti-tank mines, and hundreds of tons of ammunition. Body armor, helmets, and medical supplies have also been sent. The UK says it is helping facilitate the delivery of these weapons. The West, however, has not provided details on how supplies are being delivered. The NATO chief had previously stated that the Western alliance must not allow Russia's invasion of Ukraine to escalate into a war between NATO and Moscow. He made the comments while responding to a question about whether there would be a no-fly zone over Ukraine. The West clearly wants to contain the conflict. It has rejected a no-fly zone over Ukraine so that this does not become a war between Russia and the West. But now that Russia has said that it may target Western armed supplies to Ukraine, it is a direct warning to the West of further escalation and puts additional pressure on the US and NATO, which are already under fire for not doing enough to help Ukraine. Thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe with all notices enabled to not miss out on the Jenny Media News. Anyways men if you want to see more interesting videos click the video right above.